Pavement work with anything but Raytec road maintenance equipment results in just a patch. Using Raytec Infrared guarantees permanent, high quality, cost effective repairs. Raytec, don't just patch it, restore it. Everyone's familiar with infrared. It is the invisible part of light with shorter wavelengths that are felt as heat. Infrared radiation can be focused and reflected just like visible light. Radiation from a heating unit optimized to produce infrared energy is directed toward the pavement section to be repaired. The asphalt layer absorbs the infrared radiation through the process of radiation heat transfer. It is this absorption that creates heat within the pavement layer. Proper placement of the infrared heating unit over the area to be repaired is required to create a joint-free thermal bond. Overlapping the area treated by infrared by 12 inches around the damaged section allows the operator to blend old and new material around the joint. Picture framing should be within 6 inches of the heated area, otherwise raveling will occur if scarifying too close to the cold or unheated area. This creates a thermal bond within the surrounding pavement and eliminates cold joints and seams. Using our two-ton mini combo, we will demonstrate the techniques to put Raytec Infrared to work for you. The mini combo is an asphalt reclaimer and pavement heater combined on a dual axle trailer. In this example, a utility cut, the unit is backed into place with the heater in the down position to make sure the area heated has adequate overlap of 12 inches between the cut and the surrounding pavement. The blowers and gas flow are started and the heating units are lit. When the operating temperature is reached in approximately one minute, the eight foot by six foot heating chamber is lowered and paralleled to approximately four to five inches above the road surface. Raytec infrared heaters require seven to ten minutes to thoroughly heat a 48 square foot area to a depth of one and a half to two inches or one pavement lift. Periodically the heating chamber is raised slightly and the road surface beneath is checked for proper temperature. This is indicated when the pavement surface can be easily scored with a rake. When the first area is properly heated, the heating unit is moved forward and the operator begins to picture frame, that is, outlining the area to be restored with the back of a rake. Long tong asphalt rakes are then used to completely break up or scarify the heated area. With the mini combo, Additional asphalt at proper temperature is available in the reclaiming unit. This is added to bring the work area to the proper grade. A lute is used to evenly grade the asphalt at approximately 3 eighths of an inch above the existing pavement. This allows for compaction and keeps the perimeter of the work area neat. With the second area ready, the picture framing and scarifying process begins again. New hot material is brought in from the reclaiming bin as needed, and the surface is prepared for compaction. When properly compacted, a thermal bond will be created between the restored area and the surrounding pavement. It is critical to pinch the edges of the new material with the edge of the roller. This bonds the new to the old. The restored area is then rolled in a perpendicular direction, followed by rolling in a direction parallel to traffic flow. Use of a hand tamper around storm drains and manholes is required to ensure proper compaction. Since the utility cut traverses the width of the road, the process of heating and adding new material is repeated as many times as necessary to complete the job. Here are a few important points to remember. Raytec Infrared eliminates cold joints. The asphalt surface is never burned or oxidized as flames never contact the pavement surface. 
Using Raytech equipment makes the cutting and removal of asphalt material unnecessary. Raytech systems allow you the flexibility to make high quality pavement repairs when and where you need. With the job complete, the restored area is thermally bonded to the original pavement. Patch failure is impossible because there are no seams for water or debris to contaminate. The next project is the restoration of the pavement around a manhole cover. Yeah. 